In this video, we're going to do the three-quarter head view. So I'm going to use the tracing paper again, fold it in half in the length and also in the width, just like we did with the front view face. And then I'm going to mark a oval shape again, just as a guide starting point. So I'll go four up, four down, and then make half of the oval. I should use it darker so you can see. Trace the other side of the oval. And again, this is just a guide. We're gonna work in that inside that guide. So what the three-quarter view face is, it starts the same as the full view, where the eyes are gonna be what we start with first. So I'm gonna mark the center eye on that side and the same on this side. Okay, same on that side. All right, that's just my starting point. Now for this eye, it's actually going to be a front view eye. So I'll go ahead and draw in the eye like we did before, that almond shape with the pupil, three quarters of the pupil showing, the eyelid, the eyebrow. Nothing changes with that eye. With this side, I'm going to take off a quarter of this face here. So I've got a definite line happening here. So now the face is turned. So right where the eye is, I'm going to come in and then I'm going to extend my cheek out from that guide. That's going to be my starting point for the three quarter face, getting the outline of the chin. So now with the eye, Imagine if I had that same almond shape and the distance between this and this center line and this eye needs to be the same. So imagine if I had that almond shaped eye on this side. I'm actually taking off a quarter of it. So now the shape is this shape. Still the same on this side of that line, but cutting off a quarter on that side and then the eye still will be centered. So it's getting a shape where, imagine you had an almond, you cut off a quarter of that almond, and that's the shape for this eye. That's gonna be also for the eyelid and the eyebrow. And the eyelashes, we're going to see more of extension on this side. This one we can go ahead and go all around, but this eyelash we're going to see extension over there. So now I need to mark my nose. That's going to be the center part. And then the center of the mouth, I'll go ahead and mark. Make sure I'm in the, go a little higher. So now with the three-quarter view nose, I'm going to see one side. I'm going to draw the complete nose on one side. But the other side, I'm just drawing the, the nostril. So that's my nose, indicating the line of the bridge of the nose, because I'm it's in this three-quarters view and then I'm getting part of the nostril there. 
for the mouth. So now we have those two circles on the top and the big circle on the bottom. Let's also add that line so we make sure that we stay inside of the triangle for our mouth. So imagine if I had my mouth that fully was its length. Actually on this side it will be its full length going down to the point. But on this side, I'm cutting off a quarter of it. So now that's the shape. Shorter on this side, longer on that side. And then continuing it. So the three things so far that's important in the three quarter view, the cheekbone, or four things, the eye shape on this side, wherever it's turning with the profile of the cheekbone, this is the areas that will become shorter. Um, the eye changes, you'll see the nose, and then the lip changes, all of them cutting off what would have been the full lengths for the eye, and then showing the profile for, for the nose and the cheek.